छत्रपति शिवाजी महाराज ऑलवेज हैड दिस नेशनल विजन फर्स्ट टाइम एवर द कॉमन इंडियन मासेस वेर गेटिंग द सेंस ऑफ विक्ट्री फॉर द प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ धर्म संस्कृति एंड समाज and it allowed first time ever to fight against the invaders who were fighting on the ideas of religious supremacy the idea of hindavi swaraj guided the common populace for centuries together namaskar as uh, you know we discuss uh, various contemporary issues from civilizational perspective in our series called a national perspective in this special program today we are going to discuss a very special and momentous occasion in indian history which veer savarkar called one of the greatest epochs of indian history and that occasion was the coronation of chhatrapati shivaji maharaj Though, as per the Gregorian calendar, it was June 6, 1774. As per the Hindu calendar, it's Jyesta Shukla Trayodashi. That is this year that is going to fall on 12 June. Though generally, uh, you know, celebrating birth anniversaries is the tradition in Indian context, but in case of Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj, the coronation ceremony assumes much more historical significance, both. from the swaraj and the suraj point of view why this is so important from the 8th century onwards there were consistent external aggressions on bharat though there were con- continuous resistance also at the level of various kingdoms and society at large the impact on the social psyche and the national psyche was humongous except for vijayanagar empire for almost around 200 300 years and the legacy of raja uh, krishnadev raya uh, you know we didn't see much of uh, you know uh, occasions of honor for the common hindu society raja shivaji was the first king who instilled the confidence among common hindus by fighting against adil shah nizam shah mogal siddis together and almost prepared the entire hindu society to fight against the external aggression the idea of hindavi swaraj guided the common populace for centuries together and that is why we need to revisit this idea of hindavi swaraj and the occasion of shivaji's coronation in 1774 Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj coronation instilled a new confidence in the indigenous population against the invaders breaking their spell of superiority in terms of arms and administration the idea the same idea of hindavi swaraj that continued to inspire and guide the populace with a national perspective even after the death of shivaji maharaj till date the same idea of swaraj based on the civilizational values of swadharma steered our freedom struggle against the british rule and still holds a great significance there is another dimension to this uh, coronation ceremony because it has brought in a new era of strategic vision see for the common indian masses irrespective of their religious practices this idea of military engagement on the basis of religion was foreign the combination of guerrilla tactics strategic alliance maritime strength leveraging strategic factors like geography speed surprise and focus pinpoint attacks on larger and more powerful enemies as per the need these all were new techniques that chhatrapati shivaji maharaj introduced and it allowed first time ever to fight against the invaders who were fighting on the ideas of religious supremacy for them this was a response by the common indian masses and that is why we see the so called maratha empire which was carved out of this idea of hindavi swaraj later 
expanded this entire influence from Atak to Katak. Besides rousing the national consciousness among the common masses, the greatest contribution of Shivaji's coronation was the ideal of people-centric governance. The appointment of Ashtapradhan Mandal, that is the Council of Ministers that we discuss, or the introduction of Rayatwari system, again the tax collection directly from the masses instead of Jagirdari, that is through middlemen, were revolutionary steps in that period. And he established a competent and futuristic civil rule that inspired various kings across India. Commissioning of Rajya Vyavar Kosh, the glossary of state administration, was one of the most significant steps because it allowed the administration to pick up the civilizational language of administration instead of Turkish or Arabic words the Sanskrit and Prakrit words like Pradhan and Nyayadesh became important in the administrative parlance. So administrator, administration came closer to the common masses. Even the judicial practices, you know, today we are discussing about indigenizing judiciary. Uh, Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj virtually did that with introducing the mother tongue in the judicial administration. So when we are marching on the path from political independence to intellectual and spiritual selfhood, from Swaraj to Suraj, the ideas emanating from the Hindavi Swaraj or the Hindu Samrajya Divas, such as impersonalized and righteous rule, the importance of strategic vision based on the civilizational wisdom, and inspiring the ordinary masses for extraordinary national objectives needs to be recontextualized and researched. Chhatrapati Shivaji died in 1680. His spiritual guru Ramdas uh, passed away in 1681. But even today, both of them continue to guide with the ideas of Hindu Padapat Shahi as Swatantravir Savarkar rightly called. And it was the first occasion where the maritime strength of India was thought about it was the first occasion where the European powers were called to the court of a Hindu king. First time ever from the aggression on Kabul, first time ever the common Indian masses were getting the sense of victory for the protection of Dharma, Sanskriti and Samaj. Though the resistance was continue, but to get rid of evils, there was no political recognition to that resistance. The nature of Islamic aggression also was different because iconoclasm and killing somebody uh, for the sake of religion, both these things were, you know, uh, unimaginable for the common Indian masses. There was another symbolic gesture in this coronation ceremony, inviting uh, a Brahmin called Gaga Bhatt. He was from the family of the priest of Kashi Vishwanath temple. Now it had a very important national significance and therefore we realize that Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj always had this national vision and which can be uh, you know understood through his letter to Mirza Raja Jai Singh and therefore the momentous occasion that continued to inspire us our freedom struggle and now part towards Suraj needs to be visited from various perspective. One, the occasion itself and its historical significance, the civil aspect of it and the administrative reforms that uh, Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj brought. Three, the civilizational terminology and the understanding of governance that he introduced. Four, the message he conveyed to not just to the common masses but to the invaders and enemies of uh, the common society and fifth the symbolic gestures that he brought in while establishing Hindavi Swaraj so that future generations can get inspiration from this occasion and that is why I am reiterating this yes Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj was born and 
uh, Jizabai, uh, his mother played an important role in upbringing him for the national cause. But if there was something as pinnacle of the glory for the common Hindus of India, then it was Chhatrapati Shivaji's coronation. And that's why Hindu Samrajya Dinotsav is an important civilizational or rather epochal civilizational occasion that we need to celebrate in a right perspective with a right academic, intellectual, societal and civilizational understanding. Namaste and thank you for watching us. We will next time continue to discuss our another issue of national importance from a national perspective. Thank you and Namaste. Thank you.